Happy Friday, dear class. Good morning. I am so excited to read this Bible story for you today. This is one of Miss Amy's favorite Bible stories, and we've already read it in dear class, but since today is the last day that I get to read the Bible to you guys, um, I've decided that I'm going to read this one because it means so much to me and it has an amazing message. All right, so you guys ready? It is from our Jesus Storybook Bible. Oh. And it is called The Captain of the Storm. And if you look at this picture, there is a nice lake and there's a beautiful sunset and Jesus is sleeping. Do you see? Oh no. Looks like a nice night to sleep. So let's see what happens, okay? So it's the captain of the storm. It's about the storm on the lake from Mark 4 and Matthew 8. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day and now he was so tired. So he left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, well, he fell fast asleep. So even Jesus needs naps, guys. Yeah, even Jesus needs rest. That's something good to remember, that it's okay if we're tired and we need rest because even Jesus needed a nap. All right, so let's see what happens. It was a beautiful evening. A gentle breeze rustled the sails. The friends were chatting happily as they head out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect, just right for a quiet sail. Look at this one. What do you think's gonna happen, you guys? Yeah. Me too, I think there's gonna be a storm. They were only about halfway across when out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake. They were fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky and thunder roared overhead. This storm blew the water into towering waves and they hurled that little boat. So hurled means like threw and tossed. Um, up, 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 up. So the boat was going up, 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 up. And then it crashed back down, 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 down. Oh my goodness. What do you think Jesus' friends think right now? Do you think they're scared? Yeah, me too. Let's see what happens. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth, up and down and left and right and round and round. So this boat was going back and forth up and down and round and round Ooh. and in the middle of the storm jesus was sleeping what oh jesus now jesus's friends had been fishermen all their lives but in all their years of fishing on this lake they had never once seen a storm like this one no matter how hard they struggled their ropes and their sails they could not control their boat. This storm was too big for them. Look at the storm again, dear friends. Like, look. So see how high that boat is on that wave? That went up, 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 up. That's the top of the wave. And then they went crashing down. And then there's lightning and thunder clouds. Mm. I don't know. I hope they're going to be okay. Let's see what happens. This storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help, they screamed, wake up, quick, Jesus. And Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us, save us, don't you care? They shrieked. Of course, Jesus cared. This was the very reason he had come, was to rescue them and save them. Hush. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm, and that's all he said. And the strangest thing happened. So look, there they are getting tossed around. Look, that looks like that's maybe Peter flying on one of the sails. And it's a scary storm. But Jesus just said, hush. 
What do you think happened when Jesus said that? Let's see. The wind and the waves, they recognized Jesus' voice because, well, they've heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and they did what they, he said. Immediately, the wind stopped. The water calmed. It glittered innocently in the moonlight and it lapped quietly against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed gently up and down. There was deep stillness and a great quiet all around. Then Jesus turned to his wind-torn friends and he said, why were you scared? Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the wind and the waves. And into their heart came a different kind of storm. Huh, what kind of man is this, they asked themselves. Even the winds and the waves obeyed him. They didn't understand. They didn't realize yet that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid they had only seen big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, then they had nothing to be afraid of because no matter how small their boat is or how big the storm is, Jesus will always calm the storm. Now, dear friends, Miss Amy loves that book and here's why, because in that story, those guys were really scared. Jesus's friends were really scared, right? They were in a tiny lake. Jesus was sleeping. The winds were crashing and the waves were smashing them down. And that was probably really, really terrifying or frightening, right? But when they called on Jesus, all Jesus had to do was say, hush. And the wind and the waves and the storm stopped. And that means that no matter what you're facing, no matter how scared you are, no matter how worried or anxious you are, all you have to do is call on Jesus and Jesus will help you with that and take away your fear. Now, do you remember how Miss Amy told you we can talk to Jesus? That's right, prayer. So if you are afraid, remember, worry about nothing and pray about everything because God is bigger than anything that might be scary to you. He's even bigger than the boogeyman, I promise. So if you are afraid, remember, worry about nothing, pray about everything. Say that with Miss Amy again. Worry about nothing, pray about everything. Now, like I said at the beginning of my video, today is the last day of school. So it was the last day I got to read you the Bible. And I feel so thankful and grateful that I got to share all of these amazing stories with you. And we got to learn all about Jesus together. Now remember, we are Jesus lights, right? Little lights, shine your light. And our job is to shine our light for all to see, even in dark places. So when we shine our light, what does that look like? Tell your mom and dad. Yeah? Yeah. So it looks like our fruit of the spirit. So we are kind. We are gentle. We are loving. We are peaceful. We show self-control and patience and joy. And when we show all of those things and we are humble and kind, we are shining our little Jesus light. So before I leave, I want to sing a song for you. We've already sung this this year, but I just want you guys to remember it. And then I'm going to pray. And then we're going to move on to um, a summer break, which is awesome. So are you guys ready? Let's get our lights up. And we're just going to sing the first part of this. Are you ready? This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, let's put our hands together. Let's open our minds, bloop, open our hearts, bloop. Close our eyes, close our mouths, and bow our heads. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for being the captain of the storm. Thank you for calming all of our fears and our anxiety and all of our worries. And just thank you for being you. We are so blessed and thankful and grateful for all of your grace and your mercy and for how much you love us. Please let um, us all have an amazing summer. Let us all have an amazing start to the new year um, when we're in kindergarten or junior K or wherever we may be. Let us shine our light for all to see. Let us be humble and kind and a good friend to everyone. We are so thankful and grateful for you and it is in your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. And the dear class says, amen. Now don't forget to be humble and kind and shine your light for all to see. You are a child of God and you are so very loved. Have a blessed day.